and she registered those career high 24 kills. by George Mason moments Block back defensively up front Chelsea Coulter who was place here in her debut season. Three nothing scoring run now for George Mason. Our William Mary Villabero just could not get it up, but there she goes right there trying to get it up, but I think that's just some miscommunication having on in early in this first set. said in our interview with her earlier today that if she doesn't do well the team doesn't the middle of the net right now she just served however she also was passing ability and we've already seen her ability with the serve. Right, and George Mason has back on the way. They're called a bad set by Damiana Bovel Ford and that is a service which seems obvious to say, Tal, that kind of makes sense. If we're not scoring points, not getting kills, then yes. It that it is the start of the season. Yeah. So you have freshmen that come in on both, on both teams trying to. and it came from Amy Schwem. 22-16 edge, George Mason, first set. At set point, if George Mason does end up closing this set out, William Mary, it's a must win. Her first of the match, still set point. Mm -hmm. Amazing repertoire that William Mary has, and it's shown right now, right here, when they needed it most. Backing up, Martinez Robinson. There's the kill.
second set of the day as we've had some more fans start to make their way in and uh, they've got the special t-shirts and everything even though right now it's it's like the uh, Yesterday against Quinnipiac, but none this morning against Bucknell. The setup. on first contact. But she said the passing of the defense got better as things went. That's another service. Great setting for that big event coming up. Following the timeout. They block, so we got to answer. Maddie. From a fresh more freshman to a sophomore. Trailing by a set, they're leading here by three late in the second. Of course, blocks were such a big part of that match from earlier against Quinnipiac when William and Mary had 18 of them, their most since. Because there was more of a sweep on William and Mary's side, um, but here it seems. The second set, and it's Esposito who gets kill number two. All right, I wanted to definitely go into that, uh, but you beat me to it, Corey, yeah. on this one. Yeah. But definitely that. <laughs> That's what he said. He was like, there's no Leon. <laughs> We're back underway here. Again, Esposito, our player to watch on the tribe side. Do want to highlight her again.
Swim. Had here pretty much since Tuesday against ODU and definitely the most we've had all week for sure here inside. Front, trying to get a block. The reset now. And then said the same thing to me as I was interviewing yeah. him before the match against William Mary today and saying that that game was not a. Service. Ford. Almost had another. government major as well. So I definitely that I think that speaks to how the tribe here at William Mary for yeah. the tribe, I'ma say block party <laughs> It's coming. <laughs> Almost happened right Larkin, the serve. Coulter almost had a chance up there up front against Myers. Now Myers reads. Set up from great. Good recovery by Dunnigan. Arneson. <laughs> Myers. Coulter. Thirteen kills for Myers, and she serves. Blocked. They've been very close. Yeah. So I think starting off the set with a lead attributes to that. Malcolm the serve. Myers. Malcolm. Rodriguez. Maddie.
strength throughout this match have been their blocks and their assists. And now their kills. Hoxie with her. She has one ace. Arneson, the kill. In the middle 50-50. Yeah, it's a good matchup. Two teams that know each other as well as anybody. Meyer. Two all. Arna. Seen each other a combined now seventy five times all time. That number still rattles. It's me. crazy. Big cushion here on the next match point for the Tribe. Oh, it's block error. And that